I was wrong about your son, my lady. What the fuck did I just say? Like a true lord. You were brave, my son. But you'll need to be braver still when Ramsay Snow arrives to see you bend the knee. Prepare a raven. We need to send word to Mira in King's Landing at once. Your sister can help us. Oh my god, that looks shit. Although <laughs> just a hand <laughs> she has Marjorie Tyrell's kind of small though, I don't... And Lady Marjorie's betrothal to the king may be enough to keep the Boltons at bay. If so now we play as Mere Forester. This is really weird because I've already kind of done more of her story. So <sighs> it's amazing when you have to fucking redo shit in recordings. It's fucking incredible. I love it so much. I mean, sometimes it can be beneficial depending on how good you felt about your first Ashes one, but I think I felt alright about my first one. Him? I might have it's talked a, a little much, face, but. Essos. Yeah. Even made this for me. It was very kind of Lady Marjorie to give this to me. What is it? It once belonged to Lady Elena. Oh, right, okay. That old bitch. So you basically get to... have something worn by an old Father. bitch. Much excitement here in nah, Lady Elena's alright. Lady Marjorie has proven to be quite popular throughout the city. I do wish you and Mother could come. Although yeah, she's even has, she even has a job for you under her leash. I miss More or less. And I look forward to the day you can. Not that he's particularly hard to influence, but <laughs> you know, whatever. Anyway. Oh, let's look at what's here. Dusty old tome. Tome. Wonders made by man. The fuck is a tome? Wow, they had books back then? Holy shit. That's incredible. I see them all someday. But it's like gibberish now. King's Landing. I wonder if it's sunny at Ironrath today. Actually, does anyone know, like... <sighs> I have to imagine, I'm sure we look this up, but is there, is there, like... I think there is. Is there an official timeline, year, like, timeline for Game of Thrones, like... It troubles me to even ask this of you. But you must appeal to Lady Marjorie to intervene on our behalf. She is our best hope, and can be a powerful ally. Especially now when your family so desperately needs her help. Hmm. Uh, you know, like a, a, a certain dating system, you know. Oh, shit. Uh, who's at the door? Who's at the door? One moment. Oh, sorry, milady. I, I didn't mean to disturb you. I can come back later if you'd like. Yeah, get the hell out of here. No, it's fine. Come in. What the fuck are you putting there for me? Begging your pardon, milady, but. Oh. You all right? If you don't mind my asking, you seem rather upset. I'm just worried about my family. Ah, not at the moment, is it? It's kind of you to ask. Of course, my lady. You've always been kind <laughs> to me. Please hurry if you can. Lady Marjorie will be here any minute. Of course, my lady. I've always been kind, of, but if I, I was, I've always been kind to him. But if you I didn't let him Marjorie? in, would that? It, but he have still said that. <laughs> I may be wrong, but it seems like you do. Uh. I'm her handmaiden. That's what I thought. I've seen you with her before. You seem like good friends. <laughs> I have suspicious eyes now. Like, hmm, have you? I saw Lady Marjorie just this morning, outside the royal steps, talking to Queen Cersei. Cersei. Yeah, the queen. They appear to be having some sort of disagreement. I couldn't hear much, but... Why are you telling me this? Oh, shit. I 
heard them arguing about House Forrester and House Forrester. I hit the wrong one. Oh well. I thought you'd like to know. Forgive me if I was mistaken. I hope you're not in any kind of trouble. Most people don't tend to notice a cold boy. Not in King's Landing, with so many lords and ladies about. Well, I'm probably gonna they're probably gonna kill me, you but other than that. Of things when people don't even know you're there. Good night, my lady. He just leaves just like that with that ominous message. Hmm. I wonder if that was suspicious. Oh wow, just like that. Lady Marjorie, you're early. I was hoping or did time skip? Time for us to talk. And we just didn't Come. realize it. There's something we must discuss. Ah, oh, goodness. Wow, that's a lot of uh, that's a lot of freaking water. From the day you arrived in High Garden, I've thought of you more as a friend than as my handmaiden. A dear friend, in fact. Thank you, my lady. Sweet. And you know how I feel about what's happened to your family. I feel your pain. Nothing is at all, oh. Own. What you've suffered is beyond imagining. And your poor family as well. My family wrote me, my lady. I don't doubt they must be overcome with grief. But you must not despair. We will get through this together. Uh, yeah, I didn't really finish what you I was saying. I understand there are limits to what I can say, especially here in King's Landing, now that I am to be queen. Oh, did you already figure it out? To have a handmaiden right. from the north whose family fought for Rob Stark. It raises questions at a time I can least afford. Cersei Wait, why wasn't this an issue before? Like, Rob's dead now. Spoil spoilers. Uh, but, like, he wasn't dead before, but he was still fighting, and this wasn't an issue then. You a traitor. She was very pleased with herself. Her face was full of mirth as she said it. How did you respond? I told her you are one of my most trusted handmaidens. That you can hardly be blamed for the actions of your father. And hardly, father. but very, but very slightly. She demands an audience. She wants an apology of some sort. For what, I don't know. But she's waiting for us now, and I promised I would bring you to her. I wouldn't ask this of you if it were not important. I cannot afford any conflict with Cersei with the wedding so near. I cannot apologize, my lady. I'm not a traitor. I know you're not. But you must find a way to appease her. Humor her. Tell her what she wants to hear. It did that a bit differently than before, but us. whatever. It's not particularly consequential. <laughs> well, this was a fun part. Hey, what are you looking at? You'll be fine. I know you will. You may feel one thing, but you must say another. I must also look like I'm not feeling the other thing, or else it'd be way too obvious. Good luck. There's a difference between being a bad liar and a good liar. Obvious statement of the day, but, you know, just had to... <sighs> make that clear. We're here. Oh yeah, this is really weird. Um, I literally never in the show do you see Tyrion and Cersei in in those kind of positions where they're both on chairs next to each other, you know, addressing people that come forward to them. Kind of like how Daenerys does later on in the series. Like it's ah, Lady Marjorie. and you never Marjorie see this. Looking lovely this evening. <sighs> Lord Tyrion, your grace. With your permission, allow me to introduce Lady Mira of House Forrester. I don't permit you to do this. Oh, uh, we're gonna stand tall. speak truly, your grace. I should hope so. Speak falsely, and it'll be worse for you. House Forrester How would you know? is a northern house loyal to the king. Are they? I beg your pardon, your grace. I wasn't talking to you. I want to hear from the girl. Is your family loyal? The girl. Don't Perhaps know the girls in this room, just me. Lord he's not yes, here, is he? to the one true king. Is. Yes, your grace. To the one true king. <laughs> the one true king. <laughs> yes, she didn't say which. Ha 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 ha. 
Fiona, if you, I don't care what she meant. It's this is a bit confusing to you if you don't said. know anything about the current story at this time. I won't stand for but the girl of the north. If you would give her the chance to explain, perhaps she can explain why the foresters have been loyal bannermen to House Stark for centuries, a house of traitors. There's like multiple people who claim to be kings fighting each other. Just put it that way. Uh, they were the wardens of the north. We all served at the pleasure of the king. I don't remember what I said there. I guess I said that. That's too clever for her own good. And she would have us believe she didn't know which king she served. What? I didn't Is say that. Is your house willing to swear fealty to your new liege lord, Roose Bolton? He is the Warden of the North, Your Grace. <laughs> he is. Uh, and I, the Queen Regent, and Tyrion, the Master of the Queen. <laughs> the girl has a remarkable talent for answering questions while, in fact, saying nothing at all. <gasps> Old allegiances are not easily abandoned. But now that the war is over, we must look to rebuild and forge new alliances. There are ships and shields to be built, and Joffrey will need a steady supply of ironwood for his armies. I'm told there are others who would happily serve that purpose, but I trust we can rely on House Forrester. Forrester Ironwood does seem rather unique. To our mutual benefit, Your Grace. And at the pleasure of your king. It would be a shame to see it fall into the hands of another house. I imagine you'd do almost anything to prevent that from happening, wouldn't you? Ask any you, but would you? Do whatever was necessary to save Castle. You wouldn't. It would be unfortunate to see another house lay claim to what's yours. There are limits, Your Grace. Perhaps, but not if your house faces potential ruin. What would you have the girl do, Cersei? It's not as if she fought beside the Starks, wielding a battle axe for the Northern Army. Hey, you don't know that. I'll have you know. This is an interesting question, I suppose. Can we truly blame those who end up on the wrong side of the wheel? Our dear Marjorie here was betrothed to Renly Baratheon on the false assumption that he would one day rule the Seven Kingdoms. Can we fault her for her mistake? Is it really for that she reason? Like, how do you know for sure? Freaking lying bitch. I'm sure she regrets it. Perhaps. Perhaps not. If there's a point to this, I hope you find it quickly. <laughs> Loyalty can be such a hard thing to define. This city alone is filled with all sorts of ambitious opportunists looking to reinvent like you? themselves. Like Pretending you? to be something they're not. Like you? Who knows what lurks within their hearts? Yeah, who knows what lurks in your heart? From the it's true. Here in service to Lady Marjorie. One can only assume her interests are yours. Yet Why? That's pretty stupid. Must be absolute, beyond question. Why would we think and exactly the same? Because we're friends or whatever. Between your king and the very person whom you serve, what would you do then? I'm sure she Let would. Let the girl answer the question. Mm. My loyalties would never conflict, Your Grace. That's a coward's answer. <laughs> I will not have my time wasted by a well, it's true. Who thinks she can it's it's a true answer, though. Who do you choose? Uh Oh boy. Fuck you. Must you choose Marjorie, your grace. Clearly your handmaiden does not have her priorities straight. Clearly I do. Maybe you don't. She is a threat to the crown, isn't she? The most dangerous handmaiden in all of King's Landing. Yeah, I could stab you at her heart at a moment's She's notice. She's headstrong, isn't she? Not surprising, I suppose, for a northern girl. But not very encouraging either. I'd like a word with you, if I may. Encouraging, because I don't fucking of suck your dick. Your grace. If you even had one. Oh, hey. How's it going? Just you and me now. You're pretty small, you know that? I'll walk you out. This may come as a surprise, but I met your father once, at the tourney at Lannisport. Even then, he didn't trust Ruth Bolton. We only spoke briefly, but your father struck me as an honorable man. Really? Even then he didn't... Hmm. You have my but Rob seemed to. Is yours. More or less. These would be trying times for your family, even under the best of circumstances. Forgive me for saying it, but... 
The Boltons have no honor. Ruse Bolton has many unique qualities. Honor is not one of them. You were brave to declare your loyalty to Lady Marjorie. No doubt she was pleased, but Cersei... Oh, really? You think she was? She I kind of disobeyed her, though. Said. It was quite the first impression. I, of course, found it all highly entertaining. I wasn't trying to please her. I think that was clear to <laughs> everyone. My sister and I have our differences. She takes great pleasure in her little charades. I take mine in thwarting them. We must find our amusements where we can. She threatened to give your ironwood to another house. It is the master of coin who decides such matters. Which is you. The crown needs votes. Votes need wood, and I speak for the crown in this regard. Not her. You can help my family. I suppose the crown could be persuaded to secure Ironwood from House Forrester. Lady Marjorie. Well, why not? We we we're the ones who make it. And it would infuriate Cersei. We obviously know how to do it. Would be amusing for me might prove rather dangerous for you hmm. and your house. Are you willing to risk that? Sure. Let's go. All right, cool. It may be far too dangerous. Yeah. It's a risk I'm willing to take, Lord Tyrion. Please. What if I said no? You are a brave girl, aren't you? I'll consider it. Would he just be like, you know, fuck you, doing it? <laughs> now, if you'll excuse me, I promised Sansa I would join her for dinner tonight. Sansa. Three beautiful bottles of Dornish wine awake. Yeah, when I first heard that, I didn't realize the that. The mere thought of them makes me thirsty already. Good night, Lord Tyrion. I didn't realize that she was actually mentioning this. This is not. Well, I not. forgot. King's Landing can be a nest of vipers to the uninitiated. We never see Sansa or Joffrey in this. Which is like, I don't know. I guess it's okay. It would have been kind of nice to like have a dialogue with Joffrey though and just be like fucking... <laughs> just like talk shit. <laughs> or something Mira, funny. I was worried. Like you How suck, you suck dick. Fuck you. <laughs> Cersei has a way of looking at you as though you're nothing. It's more than a little intimidating. It went well. <laughs> really? That's a relief. Cersei is known for being rather... Well, it went well for me. Like, it went well as far as I Lady Marjorie perceived it. Lady Marjorie spent the entire day working on seating arrangements for the wedding. Probably didn't go well for Cersei. And I are seated way at the back. Here with the fourth cousins and the ninth born sons. Oh, no. Those numbers, <laughs> man. Those fucking numbers. I wouldn't mind tarnishing that light cloak of They define who you are. <laughs> what? It's true. And over in Martell, the Red Viper. I'm told he has a paramour. Which I doubt is Dornish for wife. You'll get us in trouble. We're just having some fun. Perhaps Lady Marjorie can make the right introductions. Who knows? We might meet our future husbands. Although, Marianne I don't want no husband. Fuck that imagine shit. Imagine what that would be like. Would you marry Joffrey if it meant you'd become queen? He does have a certain look about him. And what, he's they, like a faggot? Well, which is more than you can say for his mother. I don't want to be queen no matter who I'd have to marry. Don't want to be queen? You nah. Governors. You'd make a perfect that ain't scepter. my life, though. Well, I would marry. Scepter? Doesn't that have to do with like religious shit? As queen Why would I care scepter. about that? Because I don't want to be queen. I might even allow you to be my handmaiden. Let's see. Who else should we marry off? Brian of Tarth and Tyrion Lannister. <laughs> what a perfect match! It's funny, I didn't, when I first played through this game, I didn't understand what that at all, doing? but now I do. Because <laughs> I, I since watched the show. This is what actually kind of got me into well, doing that. Sarah? We're sorry, my lady. We were just having fun. Yeah, don't be a fucking cranky little bitch. This is not a game. It's a battle plan. Allies and enemies can be made with every move. Yet they say it is men who are powerful. Uh, I would say it's powerful people who are powerful. By your display, Mira. What? I'm just glad it's over. Yeah, that's kind of what I was going for. <laughs> Landing Don't know if you noticed. Sometimes. There's always someone to please or some perceived slight to smooth over. 
I fear it will only get worse when I am queen. Once they know your true heart, the lords and ladies will have no choice but to love you. Do you agree? Uh... It doesn't matter what you feel. It only matters what you say. Basically. You as long as you're not stupid quickly. about it. Your words to Cersei were brave. But I know you must fear what the Boltons might do to your family. I do appreciate your willingness to appease her, as difficult as it may have been. Thank you, my lady. The fuck are the Boltons gonna do? My family's fucking mind. small time. Something I mean, important. Just, be, just keeping it real. <laughs> uh, ask for her help. Fuck whatever. Why not? I, I did have a favor to ask of you in return. I think I'll redo everything exactly the whatever way we did before. Say, you can say it in front of Sarah. There are no secrets between us. No, oh, Sarah, don't give me that look. It's about my family. I trust her. Probably we've been handmaidens for you for a pretty long time. I mean, go on. Uh, my mother. Ask. Please, Ramsay Snow is on his way to Ironrath to see my brother bend the knee. Ramsay? Roose Bolton's and I bastard. I fear my family will suffer if Ramsay is left to do as he likes. And my brother really doesn't swing that way, so... ...the Boltons to let them know House Forrester has the protection of the Crown. That is no small Especially now. Joffrey knows only Yeah, well you have fucking Joffrey under your fucking leash, man. Now you would have me ask him to intervene. What's a big deal? Like, why would you say no? Situation that dire. You can't, my to lady. you. King Joffrey won't like it. Just think how he turned on Lady Sansa. I will forever be in your Yeah, head. well, you have you have much more under, con more under control, control than Sansa did. did. I think Sansa didn't really have him under control. I don't know, Mira. If Cersei were to find out... Um... Don't let the Queen bully you. You have power over him, Lady Marjorie, as no one else does. Not even his mother. It's kind of true. <laughs> Ramsay Snow will arrive at Ironrath within the week. I would never ask this of you if it weren't so urgent. Within the week. Week, week, week. Very well. I'll make your request, but I cannot promise anything. Thank you, my lady. So, it's probably going to fail. I will send a raven to my family at once. Cool. Beepity boppity boop doo 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 King's Road, Wolf's Wood. Wow. There's a lot of types of things. You got a type of wood made from wolves, and you got a road made from made of kings. Literally made out of the flesh of like every king. Seven hours. So Joffrey's next, let's get him. I don't know what I'm talking about, I'm just trying to be fucking... Trying to fill the void. Ooh, that's a nice sound. Ooh, let's check out what that is. Hey, how's it going? Oh, hi, I wonder who you are. I'm sure you're not... I'm sure you're not by any chance, uh... The guy who's headed to uh, Ironrath. My best work, unfortunately. I suppose I have full enough practice. Well, at least you're honest. But he didn't make it easy. What with all that bloody noise. <laughs> like a drowning cat. I thought he'd never stop. As my father likes to say, a naked man holds few secrets. But the flayed man, the flayed man holds none. Pity he didn't Except for the ones that die with him. He does now. How much further is it to these? Oh, he's dead. All right, cool. Uh, a day, my lord. Two at most. Within the week, man, that's pretty what quick. What was that? Shit. Shh. Listen. That must have been really loud. Well, maybe not that loud. I don't know. There. 
hear that? Wow, look at that tree. <laughs> I know Stellar. I heard something. Listen, if we just stay here, it's, it's, it always happens like this. They always they always just look at the freaking thing ahead, and then they never check around the We've sides. See? It's like, oh hey, you hear, you hear that noise that's coming? F that looks that sounds like it's coming from behind that tree. You better go check it. All right, look at that tree really closely. All right, but don't look behind it. Let's just go. It's just a waste of time. That those ten seconds are far too precious for us to check. Oh God. All right, let's go look at him. Maybe he tore off some good parts for us to beat while on our way. Oh wait, I got food, didn't I? Oh well, it's awkward. Bloody hell! Oh shit! Wow, that's a lot. Dang. He's not playing. He didn't carve his face off. Oh yeah, all the sword duel and shit. Lord Ethan. As I was saying. Oh my god, get away from me. I'm trying to fuck. Ugh. And there are those within these walls who are uncertain of your leadership. I'm trying to do my own but thing. Leave me alone. Three hundred generations. <laughs> like, I, I ran away from you for a reason. Like, fuck. So annoying. Lord Gerhard the Tall, who founded our house, and your grandfather, Lord Thorin the Bold. Who sees back the river valley from the White Hills? What do they call my father? Lord Gregor the Good. He was uh, fair. Uh, I want to be like that, like my father. Your father exactly was like him. Regarded by nearly everyone, it took years, if not decades, to earn. These were your father's people to lead and protect. And now they're yours. Sounds like a lot of people didn't like him since they're using a war with this responsibility shit ton. alone. He mm. and every forester lord before him chose one man whom they trusted above all others. The Lord Sentinel. Forester traditions demand Wouldn't that be like the, the perfect fucking move for a betrayal? It's like, oh hey, I'm the Sentinel. That means he trusts me more than anyone else. Perfect fucking opportunity to stab him in the back. I've done nothing wrong. I was only trying to survive. Oh yeah. I kept missing Body. the fucking Miss. I kept missing the clicks on this one, Why so then like I said nothing and then he just kept hitting. <laughs> this craven is a deserter and a thief. Okay. So why'd you kick him? We're all Didn't fucking really answer my question. <laughs> Hey, thief. Eric was supposed to be guarding our weapons, but instead we caught him stealing them. Oh, so here's literally the guard too. Okay. Uh... Two shields and three spears. Why did you do it? Because I've no wish to die. Yes, my lord, I fled. We should all flee. It's not stealing if you're taking what's yours by right. He speaks He's truth. right. I've a family to feed. And not two coins to rub together since Lord Gregor left us to rot here. Where's our pay? Our share of bread and wine grows smaller every day. <laughs> hey, come on. Did I tell you to fucking hit him? No, I didn't. Ethan, I know these words are hard, but they're honest. This house is falling. We'll never survive the coming winter. Together, we, we will together. survive. You say that, but it won't be you who's starving come winter. Well, come winter, we're probably all going to be dead, so I don't think you need to worry too much about it. Lord Ethan, you must decide the punishment. Lord Gregor always took a thief's fingers. Three of them. You're already fucking, like, not be the time for harsh punishment. The men are on edge. Really, like, punched and kicked him, like, four times. They cannot do whatever the fuck they please. Their lord will not permit it. Don't speak for me, you fucking dick. Talia. She looks at me like I will decide. Yeah, great, thanks. Thanks for that fucking 
exposition. If you punish me, you'll be punished. It's pretty obvious. It'll be an injustice, my lord. Please. It's pretty obvious you're gonna decide. My family depends on me. Our house tends to Yeah, but I don't give a shit. See this man Oof. in pain and his family is fed. Lord Ethan, you are truly a merciful and noble lord. Well, don't lord kiss my ass now. A criminal. A brazen thief. And I You're am criminal. the Lord. I choose to show mercy. Mercy shows greater strength. Strength shows strength, my lord. Yeah, sometimes that's true. Lord, that we must I would say mercy does deserves. show greater sure. strength. My lord, I thank you for the mercy you've shown me. I will never Because you could argue it kinda it's weak to, to give into your impulses all the time. And just kill someone or hurt them severely, you know what I mean. So I mean it's like Anyway, enough of that. That was certainly unpleasant, but a lord must meet out punishment when it's due. What do you mean unpleasant? I didn't meet out any punishment. I did what I had to do, and it didn't bother me. You heard what the thief said. I expect this sort of thing will happen. Imagine if you like said that, but like you fucking like you, face you fucking like chop his fingers off. <laughs> You can trust by the way, that's just. Side. By the way, that's what my father did, and he's called Gregor the Good. Like really. Someone you can rely on, no matter the circumstance, possessing wisdom, and experience. But Maester, that is what the small council is for. My lord, you of all people should know that too many voices muddy the message. That is why there is one lord above all, and so there must be one. Yeah, what if he's stupid? 